A tumultuous week in Spanish politics as hundreds of thousands of people take to the streets in major cities like Madrid, Seville, Valencia, Mallorca and beyond. They are protesting the Catalan amnesty deal agreed on Thursday that will allow one of the chief architects of the illegal 2017 independence referendum, Carlos Puigdemont, along with others, to return to Spain without facing charges of sedition. This has infuriated right-wing nationalist groups who have called acting Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez a traitor, a liar and even a dictator. Many say the deal is a humiliation for Spain. He's a dictator. He got in power and he won't leave now. He doesn't care about democracy or the country. This is a shame for the country and humiliation. Nobody should be above the law. You can't impose that on Spaniards. You can't go against the law and be forgiven just because you're a president that wants to stay in power. Leader of the far-right party Vox, Santiago Abascal, has called the amnesty deal an attempted coup and the beginning of the end of democracy in Spain. However, socialists say that this deal will help heal the nation and keep the far-right out of power. Let me confirm it uh, to you, loud and clear, here in, in Malaga, right now, Spain will once again have a progressive coalition government for the next four years. And the government will be headed by the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party. This protest is the latest in a string of recurring demonstrations outside the Socialist Party headquarters in Madrid. On Thursday night, 24 people were arrested as the protests turned violent. They hope to block and delay the amnesty deal and the formation of a broad coalition government. But the amnesty law will come before Congress on Monday and all indications point to it passing into law. If that happens, the socialists will be able to form a government within days, despite the outpouring of anger across the country. Ken Brown, CGTN, Madrid.